Hello, hello, hello. I pray you're doing wonderful this morning, this evening, whatever time you get to watch this. This review is on some colored contacts from Just For Kara. So right here, you see this black box, you see the boxes, and you see this container. This is what is going to come with your order. You are not going to receive solution. You have to get that on your own. That is what I use. I'll talk about that more later. So you're also going to get little tools. You're not going to wear your contacts as soon as they are sent to you. You are going to need to soak them for six to eight hours. This is how it's going to look. It's going to be in some solution, but that is not the solution that you need to um, have on your contacts to put right in your eye. That is a way to kind of preserve them until they are shipped out. So I was sent four pairs. So I did all that for all four pairs. I took them out. I put them inside of the little compacts that come with it. So you will also receive this. And again, you're going to have your boxes with your prescription. If you're getting prescription, you don't have to get prescription. You can get a regular, you know, contact, color contact. It's also going to come with instructions. Okay, now for the fun part of this review, we actually get to see how these contacts look against dark brown eyes. So I want you all to know that I did wear this for a good amount of time. I wanted to come to you all with a very honest review. So while I'm showing you what these look like and telling you any pros and cons, I'm going to be sharing this information having worn them for an entire month and probably some change. So it did take some time for them to get to me and I put them in and I've been wearing them ever since. I was blown away because I could see so well out of these contacts. Matter of fact, I just plan to wear them for, the, for a little bit and kind of switch them back and forth in between, you know, my regular clear contacts as well. But I somehow just started rotating <laughs> these four contacts and didn't even go back to mine. I tried to go back to my regular contacts and it's it's a it's a no go. Even when I got the contacts, I realized that these contacts were much softer than my original clear contacts that I wear. I could see better out of these contacts than my original contacts. So that's pretty much why I have been wearing these um nonstop. Not just because I've worn them over time. The first day I put these in, I noticed that they felt like they were not in. My original contacts are harder and there's a special way that you have to put them in because I have astigmatism in the right eye. I have one special one and yeah, this both of them are so soft. Every single contact lens is very soft felt like it was not in my eye and I was just amazed. At night, I can see so clear. I gave them the same prescription. Now, when you have astigmatism, your prescription looks a little different. Um, like my regular prescription is for my right eyes, like negative two, and then it's some other points, which they do not do. What they'll do is just add a little bit more when you let them know in the notes. And baby... Listen, from the left to the right, I mean, it, the, the my vision is just clearer. So I had to just put my regular contacts away and put these back in. So I'm just going to also find another eye doctor as well because I just had some trouble with them anyway. So that is already my pro. But however, look, you can see right now, one thing you need to know is just like a shirt it could be one size fits all however it's going to look different on different people so this is how this is going to look on people with dark brown eyes and we all have a different eye shape you might not be able to tell so with a regular doctor where they're going to measure your eyes if you wear a prescription um you can get your prescription However, they're not going to measure your eye or anything like that. You're just going to get that. So that might be one of the cons if you consider that. However, each one fit my eye really well. And as you can see, um, yeah, you have enough space. And I know, you know, sometimes you want the contacts to, you know, for the pupils to be super duper small so they can look realistic. 
uh, but you have to remember you need enough space in that center so that you can see, you can see your peripheral, nothing is blocking it. And I think that that is a nice size um, in the center to where as though it still looks very natural and that circle is wide enough. Like you can see my pupils are not really dilated right here, but um, yeah, it's big enough to where as though I can literally see and it's not so big that they don't look the pupil isn't so big on the contact that it looks um super fake and that's what i like i think that these go really nicely with my complexion and all of that good stuff and so for some of you if you purchase these by the name you would consider this a con so i wanted to try some that were brown however these were nanny brown yeah, she are like, Nicole, that, that don't look anything <laughs> like brown. When you take the contact out, which I'll be showing it, showing you, it has like a purple, kind of a light purple ring. And you can see it once I get very close up. And it reminds me of a grayish kind of gr soft green color. Okay. Right. And so if you were just going based off of, you know, the name Nanny Brown in that color and you got these, you will be disappointed and you'd be shocked because especially if you're not into wearing lighter, lighter colors. So that's one thing that you should know that the Nanny Brown is literally not a brown. It's more greenish, grayish color. I'm a person who does research. I'm gonna research, I'm going to look at reviews. And so when they came and they told me that I could choose four colors, I definitely looked at the different reviews and what the colors look like. So I was not surprised. So know that the Nanny Brown is going to give green some more today this is what i use you already saw that in the beginning when you go to the store this is going to be the box that it's going to be in and that's the opti free pure moist with hydra glade and it is comfort from morning till night yes it is i rarely have to put any drops in my eyes with my regular contacts or with these it's cleaning and disinfection kills 99.9% .9 of germs which is so needed cleanses rinses disinfects and stores and this one lasts me for about a month and a few weeks as you saw in the beginning they come with these little tools are super duper helpful it has like a little suction where the contact goes on and I'm going to show you you take this little tweezer I move it over okay and we're taking it out so you see that purple so it's kind of like a greenish and, and then it has like the purple around the outside nanny brown all right this is what you're gonna get okay the niala green right so look at that On your dark brown eyes, this is how it's going to look. Okay, that's what it looks like. The Niala Green doesn't look supernatural until you really put it on your eye. It looks like a deep dark blue um, circle and then you have kind of like that green in the middle, right? And I love this little suction. Okay, it does have a ring. The other one, it did not have a ring. However, it still has a nice little natural look to it, in my opinion. Don't feel like they are in my eyes at all. They are so comfortable. I could wear these all day and the prescription is super clear. I literally don't have any cons for how these feel or the Nanny Brown. I love how they look. They are for those who want to step outside the brown family and kind of branch out, but you don't want to do a gray. You don't want to do a blue. You want to do something that's just going to be kind of subtle. And so it's not like, hey, 
this was one of my faves and like i told you i've been wearing these so much i don't need the box they have been out the box this is the sitha hazel which is very close to the sitha gray but i'm going to show you one of each and both eyes so that you can see the difference so you don't think that it was no difference at all so this is the sitha hazel as you can see that sitha hazel has uh, a little specks of brown in there if you can tell and so these were one of my faves right like here. Like I said, I just took it out of clean solution. Well, actually it's not clean now because it's soaked in it overnight. I'm going to give it a little bath. <laughs> but I'm saying, you know, contacts, they're maintenance. And this little suction that I give you um, helps you to get it where it needs to get gotten. This is the difference. One thing that you do have to know is you have to make sure that you are putting these on the correct way. Say, for instance, you see how you can see the detail and, you know, the circle around it. Sometimes when you initially get the contact, it might be turned inside out. And so inside out, it may appear to look like the same, but you can tell the difference because the opposite side is a little lighter. You don't see all of the details in it, right? And so you want to make sure that when it gets in your solution and from putting it on and all of that, that you make sure that you have it turned the right way, that the colors are more vibrant and all of that. Because if you put it on the wrong way, it's not going to fit your eye properly. You're, you're going to see a lot of the brown part of your eye. These are the Sita Hazel. And looking at that color on the box, you're like, that doesn't look hazel, Nicole, but I absolutely love these. I think they look so natural with the detail. They're going to go light. I feel like I want them to look as natural as possible. These were ones that I kept going back to. But if you see or just look at the name, see the hazel and think that you're going to get some hazel brownish contacts on your brown eyes. No, you're not going to get that. This is what you are going to Let's get. Let's take out this right eye. Let me show you. The see the uh gray has no specks in it at all that's all gray you see that there's no brown specks see, that's more light it has those lighter specks so this is going to give you a more turned down kind of look so having these on side by side now you can tell the difference but had i just had these on and then just went and went straight into these you'd have been like that's the same contact and this is how it looks. Love that detail in the eye portion. Mm -hmm. They are supposed to last for 12 months, meaning they're supposed to last for a year. However, you know, we'll see. It is suggested not to go over six to eight months. You're wearing them every day. But if you're taking care of them really well, like I'm taking care of them, meaning every day you change your solution, give them a little bath in clean hands before you actually put it in your eye to rinse off whatever it's been soaking in and sitting in. Store them correctly. Follow the directions here on the card. And again, this is at your own risk. <laughs> it is all based on how you feel, what you feel comfortable about. Still do your individual research on this as I did. And I just decided to give it a try. And thankfully it worked out for me. And they work better than <laughs> my contacts. And I'm stuck with these for right now until I go to the eye doctor, get another eye doctor. That's that's just something I'm going to have to take care of so I can go back to my brown eyes because I miss my brown eyes. I didn't look at the reviews and I just saw Nanny Brown and I just saw, you know, Seek the Hazel and I got the colors that I got. I would be disappointed because... It doesn't match what is on the website. So look through the reviews when you're looking for certain colors. Look at people who have the eye color that you have, even on their Instagram. Look on their website. Look at the reviews under there. You see mines for these four, but they have, oh my goodness, they have so many different ones. So that's it for my review. I'll see you in my next video. Before you go, don't forget to look in the description box to get my code so you can get 20% off of any pair 
of colored lenses, all right? There's some other coupon codes beneath, and you're also going to see the links to each individual pair of colored contacts, all right? Now, be blessed.